Okay, so for verse and devotion for today, um, we're going to be wrapping up 1 John chapter 2, uh, verses 25 through 29. <clears throat> and the key verse is verse 26. And this is something that past couple days, I've really felt this heavy on my heart, so I'm just going to lay it out there. Um, because apparently some people need to hear it. Um, but verse 26 says, I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. The world that we live in is a mess because it's technically polluted by the enemy and Satan. Um, it is. If you don't like that answer, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Um, and we are constantly at war with that. You know, our spiritual being is at war with the enemy. And you have to understand that you're always going to have something fighting against you to not be as close to Christ as you possibly can. And you have to learn and you have to teach your kids that they've always got to be on their guard and they've always got to be paying attention to those things. Um, we have got to make sure that we're teaching them the word, that they understand it, that they pray, pray sincerely, that they listen to the Holy Spirit when it speaks to them, and that they obey it. Um, I'm going to finish reading this, and then I'm going to dive into a little bit more what I feel like is on my heart. But verse 27 says, As for you, the anointing you receive from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you all about things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in him. The Holy Spirit speaks to your heart. And that is not counterfeit. It's the real deal. And you know when something's wrong, when it's not of God. Your spirit knows that, and you can tell. Don't chase after the counterfeit stuff, is what this is saying. Remain in Christ. Remain true to him. Verse 28 says, And now, dear children, continue in him, so that when he appears we may be confident and unashamed to go for him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is right has been born of him. Stay close to Jesus. Listen to his Holy Spirit. The Lord had really been pressing upon me to make this very clear. And I guess sometimes you think that it is clear, but maybe to others it's not. But the counterfeit stuff that we're getting at here is the junk of the world. Um, tell your kids, don't mess with alcohol. Don't mess with drugs. Don't mess with um, premarital sex or yourself, parents yourself. Don't, don't be hopping beds. If you're not married to the person, don't do that. Um, if you are single and you're looking for a guy or a girl, don't just go after somebody because you're lonely. Get down on your knees and pray and ask God to provide somebody for you because you're going to get junk if you go after it the wrong way. Make sure it's what God wants, not because you want it. You need to get down on your knees and say, God, what do you want for me? Who's the guy? Who's the girl? Who do you want for me? If you're looking for alcohol to fill up that void open up your bible read it pray all that stuff isn't going to fix what's going on in here and what's going on up here only god can fill that all that other stuff is junk it's counterfeit just like the word saying here so pay attention to that um there's just so much that's out there that is what i consider counterfeit Listen to the Holy Spirit. Do what he says. He will never lead you the wrong way because he truly, genuinely loves you and he wants what's best for you and your kids and your family and your spouse, 
or your significant other or whoever, but God loves you and he wants you to stay away from the junk and the counterfeit and he wants you to pay attention to what he has for you because trust me, that's the best for you. Lord, help us to do it. Help us to get rid of the junk, to stay away from the junk, and focus on you and what you want for us. In Jesus' name, amen.